That's her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Oh, la perrete. Here, boy. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. And I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope. Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. The classical John Marston. Quítate la barba, por favor. No, pero quítate la barba. Quítate la barba. No, 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 no. John, quítate la barba. Sí, sí, espérate. Todavía no. Ahora sí. Vámonos. Let's go, girl. el maletín que... Acaba de cargar una paloma en serio con el caballo. ¡Richel! Por favor. Siempre igual.
Hang in there, girl. You'll be okay. Si es que todo mal, todo mal. Vale. Entonces eso, mañana empezaremos la serie bien de Old Mods. La que empezamos pero no empezamos realmente. Esa empieza mañana. ese puente Venga. Could you put something here? Something for me? Sí, ¿por qué no? Go get a hot uh, meal, all right? Oh. Yeah, oh. this is for you. Gracias. Too kind, fella. I used to be a man once. You know, a wife, a good girl, career. Girl. Now look at me. Worse than nothing. A filthy, worthless joke. No sea tan duro con, consigo mismo. Por fin. Opa. Las vallas no tuvieron mucho mucho futuro, ¿eh? Porque en el 1 en el no hay vallas. 
<laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Hello, yeah. Man. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you pay. I understand. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Ah, Rachel, hay que expulsar a la chusma. Epa, 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 epa. Ah. Reche. Chill. Chill. Vámonos. No sabe, no sale, eh, no, no, no sabe volar. Se conoce. ¿Ese es el ciego? Sí. Hola. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. You remember the past at the expense of the future. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Vale. Friend. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, 
I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. <laughs> ¿Estás seguro de lo que estás haciendo? ¿Estás seguro? Pues eso. Eh, yo creo que... Se ha solucionado bien rápido. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I got some things to take care of.